Israel continues to launch attacks on Syria under the pretext of disturbing Iranian weapons shipments meant for Hezbollah in Lebanon. Late on September 6th, a new Israeli aerial attack targeted the northern governorate of Aleppo. The attack was launched from the eastern Mediterranean Sea right off the coast of the city of Latakia. Israeli fighter jets fired a number of standoff munitions which hit Aleppo International Airport. A military official told the state-run Syrian Arab News Agency that the attack inflicted heavy damage on the airport's main runway, placing it out of service. No casualties were reported, however. The Syrian Ministry of Transportation announced that all flights meant for Aleppo Airport will be moved to Damascus International Airport. The ministry didn't specify when the airport could resume operations. Arab media said that the airport's runway was not the only target of the Israeli attack. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights and other Syrian pro-opposition news outlets claimed that warehouses where Iranian weapons were stored had also been hit. El Arabiya TV said that the attack came as a response to the resumption of Iranian aerial weapon shipments to Hezbollah via Syria. Exactly a week earlier, a large-scale Israeli attack targeted the international airports of Aleppo and Damascus. Both airports were placed out of service for several hours. Five Syrian service members were also wounded. The same claims about Iranian weapon shipments to Hezbollah were used to justify the attack. Israel and its allies are apparently increasingly worried about a possible Syrian military response. After the attack on Aleppo International Airport, Israel placed its troops along the border with Syria on high alert. Moreover, the U.S.-led coalition placed its bases in Syria on high alert. U.S. troops in El Tanf garrison in Syria's southeastern region, as well as in the Konoko gas plant base in the northeastern governorate of Deir Ezzor, were reportedly ordered to prepare for a possible attack by Iranian-backed forces in Syria or Iraq. A recent report by the New York Times said that Damascus and its allies, who are known as the Axis of Resistance, have agreed to respond to Israel's repeated attacks by targeting U.S. bases in Syria. Israel has launched 23 large aerial attacks on Syria since the beginning of the year. At least four attacks targeted Damascus International Airport, while only two of them targeted the airport in Aleppo. Syria, who continues to face many security and economic challenges, has been refraining from responding to Israeli attacks in order to avoid a serious military escalation. This policy will not apparently change any time soon. Israel will likely continue to escalate its attacks on the war-torn country under the pretext of battling Iranian influence.